Hi everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to teach your students how to do a fallen phrase. Uh, this fallen phrase is more simple than the ones I usually do, but um, that would take about 20 minutes of video to, sh to complete a puzzle, so I just did a real simple one here to so you could get the idea. Um, you can have fallen phrases made for you at Discovery Education. Uh, put the link below so that you can go there and make your own fallen phrases. I make them in Spanish most of the time. Um, since this one's about Cinco de Mayo, uh, I put I did this one in English. Um, but they're a lot of fun. My all my students from third grade to eighth grade have been able to do them and enjoy them a great deal and so I wanted to share it with you. Um, so a fallen phrase is a logic puzzle. It looks a little bit like a crossword puzzle but actually it's more like um, Wheel of Fortune. You start at the top left and you read to the right and you just continue down just like you do on a puzzle on Wheel of Fortune. The premise of the uh, puzzle is that the letters were all in and then they fell, hence the name fallen phrase, beneath the puzzle. And But they all fell directly below the column that, that they are under. So if we look at column 1, we know that the O and the C came from column 1, but the order is mixed up. So we don't know if the O goes here and the C goes here or vice versa. And we want to fill in all the letters and we're going to use logic plus our knowledge of the English language and the, our knowledge of the subject to give us clues to help us finish the puzzle. So where I usually start with my students is with columns that only have one letter. So column 3 only has one box, only has the letter L, so the letter L must go here. Um, an important point is that to tell your students to always cross out the letter beneath the column that they've written it in. Now I'm just going to delete them because I'm working straight from Excel. Your students will cross them out because they'll be on paper. Um, but it's very important to tell them that and especially with younger ones be very clear because a lot of times I've had students think it doesn't matter which L I cross out I just gotta cross out an L somewhere but that's not true you have to cross out the one um, that's beneath the box that you put it in okay so here I just have one letter here I just have one letter cross that out here I just have one letter and these two boxes I just have one letter so I'm going to write those in and cross them out okay so that's the first step the next step is um, I know that the topic of this puzzle is Cinco de Mayo so I'm thinking there might be since it's a complete sentence there might be um, something about Cinco de Mayo in the puzzle so I'm going to look, and here I found a C, but in the next column there's no I, so it's, that's not going to help me. But then I look in column 5, there's a C, and then O in column 6, there's an I, and then here's an N, C, O. So I'm going to assume that Cinco goes right here. So I'm going to delete this, and then the I, cross that out, oops, then the N, Cross that out, C, and O. And if I look here, I can I do have D E for de, so I'm gonna do D and E and Mayo. I can make Mayo for right here. M A Y O. All right. Now I'm going to look back through 
and I see right here that I just have one letter in this column now that I've crossed out the D that was here. So I'm going to do the I right here. And right here I just have an E, so I'm going to do the E right here. And that's it for now. So now I have Cinco de Mayo, something, 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 something. I'm going to look through. Another good thing to always look for is if you have one column that just has um, all the same letters. Now I'm seeing here that that's not happening for me in this puzzle, but a lot of times there'll be a column that has, like for instance, two O's. Well, if I just have two boxes and I just have two O's, then the O's must go here. That's not the case in this puzzle, um, but like I said, it does happen pretty often. I'm going to look here. This is just a two-letter word, and it could be it, and it could be in. But again, using my knowledge of the English language, um, there's no words in English that start with N and have H as a second letter. So the T must go here cross that out and then the N must go here since it's the only one left okay now um, knowing English there's no word THM so the E must go here and the M must go here okay now I'm looking I don't have any um, columns with single letters in them. I'm looking around. I know that Cinco de Mayo tells me um, about a battle that took place in the village of Puebla. Actually it was a city. It had quite a few people in it even for that time. Um, so I'm looking and I see a P here and it's at the beginning of a word here. So let me see if I can make Puebla. P-U-E-B-L-A. Yes, I can, and it fits, so I'm going to uh, keep my fingers crossed that this is the correct word for these boxes. Uh, this is why... I just did a simple puzzle because showing everything takes a long time. Cinco de Mayo something, the, now, oh, but before I go on, I have a bunch of columns here that only have one letter. So I'm going to put E, B, R, A, T, E, all right, oh, look, I forgot to cross out this O when I first did it, so I'll do that now. So I have Cinco de Mayo something, the something, something Puebla in, oh, uh, I have an X right here, so I'm going to guess that this is Mexico. Let me see. I C O I'm left with one letter in each of these columns, so I have B A T T. I can delete all of these. And over here I have Cinco de Mayo, something, the battle. I have a two letter word and the only two letter words out of this combination of letters is of. So this is going to be O and this is going to be F and this is going to be C and this is going to be E. Now obviously um, I had an unfair advantage because I was the one who had written this puzzle but um, I'll say one more time my kids really enjoy them I hope you found this video helpful and uh, 
Enjoy your teaching. Thank you very much.